Welcome to WQ Plus 2 Do-It-Yourself Edition. In this episode, we're going to show you how to turn an ugly old bookshelf from Craigslist into a beautiful new one for our room. Well, at least I hope it turns beautiful. As you can see, we have a long way to go. The first step is to find the bookshelf. We found ours on Craigslist and talked them down to $10. The next step is to clean it up. We spent about 30 minutes after we got home trying to get as many marks off as we could. These are some of our favorite tools for cleaning stuff. Alcohol, magic eraser, goo gun, and of course, baby wipes. Unfortunately, even with all our cool tools, we couldn't get some marks off. But when we get done with this project, you won't even notice those marks are there. We're here in the store, picking out fabric. Turns out this is the hardest step. Me and Cadence want this fabric, while Kendall doesn't want does it. Because it looks really nice, and it's yellow, and it's flowers, and that matches our roof. I think we should go with the yellow flowers. I like the yellow flowers. I think that one's a possibility. We're at our third fabric store and we're trying to narrow down the choices. So, we like the daisies. So we have a daisy and lots of colors. So we have blue, purple, yellow, pink, and we have this one, which is nice too. And Kendall's favorites are the pink and the zigzag. My favorites are the zigzag and the yellow. We've narrowed it down to two choices. The blue daisy one and the gray zigzag <coughs> one. Um, I am tied between the two, but I like the daisies because I think they look good with um, the color of our wall, which is about this color. And if we get to do this color, then we can have pillowcases that um, are in our color. But I also like the zigzags because it's simple and it will match with like our pictures and our books and stuff. I like this one because it's like kind of like a plain color and it won't be too noticeable, but I still think we should do the pillowcases with the flowery fabric. But I mean, it doesn't have to match, does it? So Cassidy couldn't come shopping with us today, but what would Cassidy choose? Cassidy would choose the blue Daisy one because she doesn't like when she it. left then she said that she wants to have something flowered. This is it. You made a decision? Um yes, mom and Riley voted for the daisies. Kendall voted for these zigzags and Cassidy <gasps> voted for the daisies. I think I vote for the daisies too, so I think we are going to do the daisies. Let's go get this fabric. But I don't... Next, turn over the bookshelf and remove the nails that hold the backing in place. <laughs> <laughs> then carefully slide out the backing. your bookshelf. That's okay. You can still do this project. You just have to be careful about your cutting and gluing of the fabric. Do a quick check to make sure the fabric completely covers the book. Check out all these wrinkles. We need to go iron them on the iron board. You to iron your fabric so you don't end up with wrinkles in your finished product. Next, spray adhesive all over the board. Pull it super tight, super tight, and then carefully 
set it down. I know, we can kind of reposition it, but if you have lots of wrinkles, it's going to be tough. So. Use your fingers a little bit. This is way easier than pulling them out and more fun. Okay, ready to turn it over, guys? Yeah! Ta da! This is our bookshelf. Look how cute it is. We made this in less than $25. Now we have a place to store all our Legos and our books. I think that our fabric is the best fabric we, we could have chosen. Wonderful fabric. I still think that the pink one would have been better. I don't think. I, I think this is the best ever. I can't, I can't wait, wait until our, our next Do It Yourself project. We don't say project, we say project. Okay, good. I think that's probably good.